Well, I thought I'd never say this, but uh, as far as the Street Avengers go, <clears throat> I definitely wouldn't buy one. I have two. That's a 670, and this is a 570. They're both Street Avengers. I have not been able to get rid of an off-idle stumble. So, with that being said, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I know everything there is to know about these Holly carburetors. So, I started looking at uh, what might be actually wrong with it in general. So, I started playing with this one a little bit, and I noticed that there's now. Watch the pump arm there. Look at all that play in there, and you can't adjust that out because, see there's a little green spring, and then there's a pump cam. Now you can't see it, but this arm is actually riding on the spring instead of the pump cam, and there's clearance in between the two. So, <clears throat> So right there, you're going to have an off-idle stumble, and you hit when you crack that throttle, and you get no squirt effect in there into your engine. Your squirter won't be putting anything in. Your throttle blades will be part. I mean, you can open it that far. Now, some people may say, "Well, why don't you just, you know, crank down the? Uh, here's a screwdriver. Why don't you crank this just wide open? Or some something to that effect." See, there's still that play there, and you'll never be able to get that much play out. But now, to even get to that point, your transfer slots on your carburetor are wide open. So you have nothing to trans, no fuel to transition you from the uh, idle circuit to the main jet circuit because it's all on your idle circuit. So, and if you back this out where, okay. That's where it's loose. This is about where the carburetor should run. Now, there's a tremendous amount of play. And that pump arm is doing nothing. The throttle blades down there are opening really far. But you, there's three basic problems with these. You know, in this, I'll show you what the actual thing is here. I just had this mocked up for example. Um, the Holly car, this series of Hollies, they don't open the secondaries at all. So you have to crank open the primary really far. Get that gasket out of there. You have to crank open the primary really far to uh, you know, get it to idle right, get enough air. So that's screwed up <laughs> in and of itself. Well, I gotta put the phone down here to get this off. Don't want to ruin my nice reusable gaskets. Come on, baby. Okay, so now that that's off, this arm, <clears throat> get it slid out, so now you can get a better view. It rides on the spring before it rides on the cam, and you can even see this in the wear. All that wear is on the spring. So, with that being said, you know, you have some problems there to address, but, uh, so the secondaries, you have to go in and adjust those and open those up. Um, run that down so the transfer slots are less open and somehow alter this arm so it doesn't ride on that uh, right on that spring. I'm going to call Holly today and address that with them and see what they can do about it. And if they can't do anything, I guess... I'll have to weld and grind a little tip on there to kind of avoid that. But that'll wear into my plastic pump cam, but that's really all I can think to do. So if you have an off-idle stumble with your carburetor and it's a Street Avenger and you can't get rid of it, I guarantee 
that's your problem. Your transfer slots are too, too exposed. Your secondary throttle blades aren't open enough. And your pump system's screwed. So, I hate to say it because I love Holly, but in this case, they pretty much failed.